school my child. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Telecom Dog, where we're all about the travel, tech, and talk. Today's video, the first in a series of our efforts to homeschool our nine-year-old daughter, a fourth grader. All the trials and tribulations, all the things we get right and the things we get wrong, all the ups and downs. Join us, be our cheerleader, be our support team. Any advice you have, We'd appreciate listening to, so don't be shy. Write in, tell us what you think. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe. That's the way you can help us continue to make these videos and grow our YouTube channel. So on with the video. And so here we have it, our work area. It's uh, small, but uh, complete. From the rear there, we see Novi uh, sitting in front of the laptop, router, side of the desk, and printer. Our study area continues on to the desktop so that uh, while she's using that, I can continue to work and check her stuff and entertain myself, additional books, and other things. Let's take a side look at that. As can be expected in the city, there's plenty of uh, outside noise. We've got the window open to keep it cool. Normally, we'd be running the fan to assist in that, but that would play havoc on the audio for the video, so we'll suffer through. And what do we got? The note reminding Novi of her 2 p.m. online art class. Um, additional books that we'll be using. And the last time. Our study area is actually our bedroom, as you can probably tell. You've seen some of this before if you've uh, watched any of our videos. And, of course, behind me is a bed. As you can see. Ooh, wind is kicking up. Ooh, they're, they're coming together. It has potential. That's when we see or we listen to on the radio and they say it's a tornado watch. Still means you need to take it seriously and you get to the lower part of your house and get away from windows. Absolutely. Or to the center of your house if you only have one floor. Watches. Now those are different than what? Tornado warnings. A tornado warning, these are when an actual tornado has been detected. Tornado warning means that they see that tornado, whether it's visually or with their Doppler radar. What's the Doppler radar? It's a computer that can see through clouds and to see if there's a tornado. That's correct. Very good, people. Okay. Doppler radar literally is the kind of technology that they can break through all these clouds. They send signal and it bounces back. It's incredible technology. 
but that Doppler radar has said, you know what, there is a tornado right now, get to that safe place. Watches, warnings. So when you see that warning, you better go right back. I'm not being paid or compensated by anyone or any particular company, so therefore I'm not gonna be mentioning any names or any brands. If you're really interested in finding out who or what I'm using, contact me. Email uh, something on the YouTube channel and I'll let you know exactly uh, which companies I'm using and what they charge for their fees. Our methodology. I'm going to be an independent homeschooler. That means I'm going to carry out this entire process without assistance from DEPED, the Department of Education, any teachers from the Department of Education, or any other affiliates, basically. I am aware of the curriculum that the Department of Education requires for fourth graders as they post this online. So I've designed my program to include all the components that they've listed. My uh, approach will be this. I will use an online course, which has uh, modules that include most of the items covered by the Department of Education. I will use uh, some ad hoc, some miscellaneous videos from YouTube that tend to the courses that we use. I will contract with at least uh, one individual, one or two individuals to assist me in the areas that I am weakest in. For example, art. I couldn't draw a stick man if my life depended on it, but I have found art classes online. So Novi will have benefit of talking to a live person, showing her work to a live person, dealing with someone who really understands the subject of art. Uh, the aspects of uh, the Filipino language, obviously I'm at a, a default there, I'm deficient there. So my wife will be able to assist me with that. The online process that I am using has modules. Each module, each subject is integrated with the live teacher, lectures and testing. The live teachers talk about a particular lecture. The test on that lecture is also integrated from the same sub subject matter and it all works together like that. That leaves most of the, uh, the hand work of teaching to them. And then I get to sit in and attend the classes and work with her and make sure that she understands what was just said, the subject matter, and see how well she does on her test. I did a so I did acquire some books. I got them from the leading educational publisher here in the Philippines. As you recall, they were a science book, a couple of social studies books, current affair books. Uh, there are even some books on Filipino, how to speak and learn in uh, Filipino, as well as some uh, leisure reading, just things that she likes to read. I'm of the mindset that if you can find something that a child enjoys doing, or enjoys reading about, then that will make the process of reading a lot easier for them. So we've got the book on film and Frozen 2 is the uh, subject matter of the day. Uh, that's one that's very popular here in the house, so we've got books like that. Done correctly, this isn't as expensive as you might think. We've been at it for about 30 or 45 days, but it hasn't been full time, full blown. Uh, we did a little testing, started working 15, 20 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day, an hour a day, two hours a day. Uh, I've been ordering various things and getting them in the house, getting the house prepared. As you saw earlier, we just got the desk to expand our work area a little bit more. So we've been winding up, getting prepared for the full on uh, advent of home, school, or education here in the house. We're now ready to go. We're, we're ready to go full speed. Uh, and so we're off and running. We've been off and running for about two or three weeks now. And it's going along pretty good. So there you have it. Homeschooling in the Philippines. Part one. I will most definitely shoot some other videos and show you how we're going along, what the progress is, et cetera, et cetera. But as I mentioned, if you have any suggestions, I would be glad to hear them. Uh, even if you've got a couple of criticism, I'd like some of those as well. And so you have it. Homeschooling in the Philippines, part one. And don't forget to click on the bell-shaped icon. That way, you'll be notified as soon as we upload another video. And you won't have to go looking at our YouTube channel to find out what's new. Don't forget to like, comment,
comment, share, and subscribe. That's another episode of Telecom Dog, where we are all about the travel tech and talk. See you in the next video.